Hi guys, welcome to Crazy Seesaw. Today I'm going to teach you how to solve oops, how to solve the pyramid Rubik's cube. I'll just solve this one second. Like it's already solved. I already solved it, but just the corners. Yeah. So this is our solve wait guys, you're moving a lot. Yeah. This is how a solved pyramid looks like. We have a total of four sides on the pyramids. We have orange or this, you can get an orange or red. We have a blue, we have a green and we have a yellow at the bottom. So the method I'm going to teach you today is the basic layer by layer method to solve the pyramid Rubik's Cube. This is one of the most easiest and basic methods and if you guys have seen my 2 by 2 Rubik's Cube tutorial that I didn't do like a, in a current time, I did it a long time ago, but yeah. If you have seen that video, you guys may know that there are a lot of like moves and R and U prime, F prime, B, D prime, stuff like that. But the pyramids layer by layer basic method doesn't need any of this. These are very simple and easy cube to solve. So without wasting any time, let's get right into it. And guys in the video, just to make you know, you won't be able to see my face, just the cube and you can hear me guys. So... So guys, <clears throat> here is the pyramid Rubik's Cube. So before we start the solve, I would like to show you some parts and pieces. Because before we solve a Rubik's Cube, we need to know all the parts and pieces that it has. So it's easier for us to understand. So, if you um, know how to solve a 3x3, three three, uh, you maybe know there are parts called corners, <coughs> edges and centers. We have those same parts in a pyramid Rubik's cube. So before I start, I told you we are going to solve this by a method called layer by layer. So I'll just explain how will that go. So first we will solve this bottom layer here. You can see this yellow. We are going to solve that first. And with that we have to solve this layer. That's this. And the remaining we have is this layer. And this layer consists of only two sets of moves that you have to learn to solve and these are corners so like these in the pyramids why did i say it's so easy so you just have to twist this and these, these will get solved so i'll first explain you the parts first corners these are corners and corners uh, how do we how, how do you figure out which piece is which so if you want to find a corner a corner is always with three types of colors so here is a corner green blue yellow we have a corner orange green blue we have four corners total on this pyramid three on the bottom and one on the top then we have center pieces that don't move from the place so i'll tell you how you'll figure out where is a center piece in a pyramid so cube. so here you see here we have the corner and the piece in front of the corner, so this, that are connecting the corner to the main core of the cube, that's this. They are connecting the corner to the main core of the cube. These are the centers and how much ever you turn it, these won't move from their place. How much ever you turn it. So these are centers and we have one more type of piece that are edges. Edges are basically pieces with two types of colors. So here we can see, again, I'll do a short recap, corners centers and these are edges so edges are with two colors so this edge is orange blue this is orange yellow this is orange green you'll have that on every face of the pyramids any way you hold it so now we'll uh, before we start the solve i scram i scramble the cube so guys and here we have a completely scrambled pyramids I scrambled it randomly. You guys can also scramble it any way you want or give it to somebody who can scramble it for you. And you guys can solve it with me if you like. Want to. So I'll just re scramble this one minute. Yeah, okay. So I scramble this more. Now, guys, here we have a scrambled pyramids. And so we are going to start with the first step that is. Connecting the corners. 
so connecting the corners meaning now you see this this is the green yellow that's this it's mismatching right so you just twist this and all of the sides are matching you have to do that for every single corner like this and yeah we are in the first step you can see all the centers and corners are matching now the second step is to make um uh, to get the yellow center and corners at one face so let's see oops so we have one center and corner here another one and where's the third one third one is here so now i'll try it and get it up but there is no way i can get it here so that ever happens that your piece is at the back and you can't get it here in any way then what you can do is you have these two come to the face on the bottom you see that's the bottom you are holding you hold a random face at the bottom so you just shift your hand to the bottom now what you can do is you can easily so the piece was at the back it can be here or here anywhere you can turn this side of the cube and that and then these two pieces can easily come here good so now this looks like a peace sign without a circle peace sign in a triangle so for now forget these edges just focus on the corners so like we are done with this step and one more case you can get is that that was the case or basically it will be somewhere like there or somehow so basically if, if your piece and this one more way sorry there's one more way to solve this is that if your piece is here and it's at the bottom you get it at the top and you don't want to shift it all over your cube handling so what you can do is just twist this piece let's twist this piece take this on the top do this this and then just do that that But that's a way more complex. That's like kind of complicated. I mean, so just go with the method I told you. That's the easiest way to make this piece sign. So guys, the next step is after we make the piece sign out of yellow. I prefer to start with yellow because it's the easiest color. But it's your choice to start with any color. I suggest that you start with yellow. Do not create such confusion. So now the second step will be to make the centers. That's align the edges because so, we need to complete the first layer so the base will be completely yellow and this will be matching to the corresponding colors so there are multiple cases you can get in this so first case we see is that we have a piece on top it can be on the left or on the right so here we have it one on the left it's a yellow and green piece so what you have to do is this is a yellow and green edge so you see what do we have to do is you see that piece there is a yellow side of that and the yellow side should be on the side where you want to attach this and the color should be on the other one so just just vanish the side for now so you have this color here and this matches here but you don't want the color here or else this will get inserted here you want a yellow here just forget this for a minute So the color you, the piece you want to add here, the yellow side of it, or the color that you have on the bottom, bottom sorry, the side of that will be facing on this face, face meaning side, where you want to add it here. So after you've done that, you see there is space here. So you just have to memorize a set of moves that is right, up, left. down i'll show it to you guys again it's a simple set of moves right up left down and you can see you get a bar here there can be one more case that your piece wait guys i just solved that yeah now again we have a, a edge and now the piece is again on the left side it's yellow and blue 
and it's on the correct size as the piece's yellow yellow face is on the face side then we want to add it in so let's do that with right left left down and the last and final kiss and i'll tell you one more thing guys that if your piece is on the right side you will do same so i'll give you so one more case can come is your piece is on the right side we practice with the left side now on the right side if it's you go left right right down i show it to you again the formula will be written on the top of the screen so you guys can see it left up right down again a quick memorization for the left one so you guys don't get confused so the left one is right left side up left down okay so now the last and final case you can get is this your edge is in the correct spot it needs to be or it can be in a wrong spot also mine is in the correct spot if it's in the wrong spot you can just take it out and rearrange it but mine is in the correct spot so if it's there but it's flipped okay your piece is up but the yellow should be on the bottom where it's on the top so to complete that case you go you can do it with any side whichever you comfortable with the set of moves are just all you can do it with the left side or with the right side any way you are comfortable with so but just remember if you do with the right side you have to apply the left side formula to add this in on the set of moves and one second yeah and if you do it from the right left side you have to apply the set of moves that were on the right side so i'll take it off from the left side so then you apply the right side moves there can be one more case so i'll just set that up one more case can be is that a piece is there in the correct if your piece is there its yellow face is down but it doesn't match this you again do the same set of moves and then you again take it in the face so it's yellow orange is the yellow side of that piece in orange no now is it in orange yes and then you can just simply add it in and guys with okay so i'll just add this and guys with this formula we are done with our first layer you guys can see so this is green yellow is complete we have a green patch a blue patch and an orange or red patch complete now we'll move on to the last and final layer so guys for the last and final layer our first step will be really simple now we have got the size of the colors right so this will be blue this will be orange and this will be green we didn't arrange in a specific order but this is what we got and we need to match the last the center that's on the top layer to its corresponding color so this green this blue no this orange is blue no and now it's got this blue this is blue orange orange green blue now there are also two types of cases you can get cases meaning scenarios you can get it by solving this one scenario can be you have two headlights at the front as i have i have two headlights in the front and you have a piece at the back right now it's not matching or technically it's it it matches but if it's not matching that's case one headlights with non matching edge, edge piece so for that you do right side up left down left up left down now you can see we have an edge piece that's matching and now we have two headlights the formula is not same here there so this is case 2 scenario 2 headlights with matching hp so if you look at the cube like this it's solved that's how it should be and we have a two headlights in the front so this is a bit complicated of than this then this formula it's a bit complicated uh cuz this is just a set of moves in few this 
but this will be a little complicated so guys stay with stay with us and and one more thing i forgot to tell you when you apply this formula for scenario one always keep the headlights that is this facing towards you while you're applying any formula with the headlights that is a point of remember point of remembration so guys just remember that so now with the matching edge let's do it keep the headlights facing towards you remember left right you will have it on the top corner this is the left this is the right if you have any confusion so let's go left side down right side down left side up then take the right side up then you see the right side you hold these two corners and then you turn yourself to the light right side of the cube so just switch it once but now you have a empty edge please that will come on the bottom something like this and you do left side up right side up left side down and right side down so if you have the two headlight cases this is how your cube will get solved but we have one more case to do so i'll reach you that case so guys so guys the last and final case you can get is three headlights i call it the three headlights because after you match the centers this is also one of the easiest cases we already learned the set of moves for this here also you have headlights headlights meaning two sets of different color here also you have headlights and here also you have headlights for this you can start from any face of like orange green or blue any i'll choose orange and you do again those set of moves right side up left right down left right up left right down it's not compulsory now you can see the pieces shuffled up it's shifted so this went to this one now we'll do that one formula once more and this set of because we had blue here it moved to here so now we will apply it once more and this will come to here it's not compulsory that yours will happen in one two two only tries mine is a scramble that takes two tries your can happen in one try too so again we'll apply the same formula again you can take any face out of these three don't use yellow because then you'll mess up the first layer we have to leave this just work with this so right side up left right down left right up left right down and guys with this formula we have learned how to solve the pyramids rubik's cube i hope you learn how to solve it so guys like share and subscribe this subscribe to our channel and for the people who want to learn the pyramids share it with them thank you for watching this video how to solve a pyramids rubik's cube and i am sure you must have learned how to solve it or you must have learned something new in this video and i hope you like this video if you like it subscribe to our channel hit that bell button and share this video to anybody who wants to learn the pyramids cube i'll see you in the next video and bye